just another Monday afternoon in Santa Fe de Antioquia. And uh, I'm at a parade. Santa Fe de Antioquia is a Colombian town I won't soon forget. It's the perfect day trip from Medellin. To get there, you just take the metro to the El Norte bus terminal and the comfortable hour and 45 minute ride by microbus later, more or less, you're a world away. This is a very old town founded in 1541 and imbued with a coat of arms from the King of Spain a few years later. The fact that I'm walking up to a cathedral in a town of only 23,000 people speaks volumes about this place's one-time importance. This cathedral was built in 1799, and in 1804, Pope Pius VII elevated it to a diocese. When Antioquia was established as an independent state in 1813, Santa Fe was its capital. Today, of course, Antioquia's capital is Medellin, with a metro area of nearly four million people. But it gives you a sense of Santa Fe's historic importance and why this place continues to project so much charm. I'm here on a Monday, which is a relatively quiet day in the town, apparently, and uh, in the little market next to a plaza called, uh, in English, uh, the People's Plaza has a nice sound to it, but there are very few people around. It's midday, of course, it's sort of siesta time here, but uh, very tranquil, very colorful. I think I mentioned this town was founded in 1541, and I'm standing in the plaza that honors its founder, uh, a Spanish soldier named Mariscal Jorge Robledo. Turns out he was quite the interesting fellow. He fought in uh, Mexico and Guatemala and Panama and Ecuador. And he was even present with Francisco Pizarro uh, in Cajamarca in Peru when the Inca Atahualpa was assassinated by the Spaniards. So the guy got around. Since receding from its one-time importance, Santa Fe has remained a farming community with the three most important crops being coffee, corn, and beans, in that order. Not only is Antioquia a prime coffee-growing area, but the region's coffee growers have come to represent a stereotype of the Colombian coffee grower, embodied by the fictional Juan Valdez. The Juan Valdez character has been appearing in ads for the National Federation of Coffee Growers of Colombia with its 500,000 members since 1958. And in all of that time, there have only been three Juans, including the latest one who hails from a town not far from here, which gets us to another aspect of the town and region that's worth knowing, and that's the so-called Paisa culture. Paisa derives from the Spanish version of Paisano, meaning countrymen, but it's a distinct identifier for four departamentos or provinces of Colombia, especially Antioquia. There's even a, an ethnic component to it. This region historically was isolated from the coast, so the racial mixing that occurred here tended to be Spaniards with indigenous people as opposed to Africans brought to the New World as slaves and who later settled along the coastline. So it's no accident that Juan Valdez is Paisa. In fact, just in casual conversation as you walk along the street here, you'll hear someone refer to the other as Paseyano. Or it's, a, it's a sign of uh, familiarity that's uh, very common to this region. And uh, it it sort of is a linguistic way of maintaining the, the bond that this culture represents. The other component of the Paisa culture here, as far as food is concerned, 
is what has become more or less the national dish, the bandera paisa. I'm looking over this great dish. I have chicharron, fried pork belly, uh, pork sausage, two varieties, uh, a, a slab of beef, uh, plankton, a fried banana, a huge chunk of avocado, white rice, and with a fried egg on top. And to go along with that, of course, there's uh, a large bowl of bean soup along with uh, uh, bread and a regular Colombian arepa. And that's not to mention the salad that was brought earlier. If you can't get filled up on this, uh, you can't get filled up. This is hearty and this is good. Very good. Well, it was like eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner all at once. One of the most interesting things you'll want to see if you come here is actually about six kilometers outside town. It's a famous suspension bridge called Puente de Occidente, the Bridge of the West because it's in Western Antioquia. And if I can track down a tuk-tuk, we'll go there. Well, I found my tuk-tuk and we're en route with my driver, Nepo. I don't think I've seen this many motorcycles since Indonesia. And just like that, we're in the countryside. Well, I've arrived here at the Cauca River and the famous bridge that was built to connect Santa Fe on the west side with the town of Olaya and beyond on the east side. It took 12 years to build this bridge, and at the time it was completed in 1895, it was the world's longest single suspension bridge. But a curiosity is the fact that neither Santa Fe nor Olaya are on either side of the river here. Uh, this bridge was built, you might say, in the middle of nowhere. So the question is begged, why? And that's because it was just the easiest place to build it from a structural point of view. This bridge with its iconic pyramidal towers is really a thing of beauty considering its age. But just as interesting is uh, the man behind the design of this bridge. It was designed by Jose Maria Vila who grew up in a nearby village and went on to study at the Stevens Institute of Technology in New Jersey. In fact, after completing his studies, Vila was one of the engineers who helped build the Brooklyn Bridge. It's really quite spectacular. On both sides of this great river are coffee plantations, fruit trees, just, just stereotypical Antiochian farmland. The kind of place where we could really get lost in the tranquility.
that was one nice bridge walk. celebración? Es la celebración de la semana del adulto mayor de todos los viejitos de la, de la, de la, de la ciudad madre. Por todos sus viejitos. Sí, señor. Qué bueno. Bueno, well, this is unusual, but this is a celebration for the town's senior citizens. ¿Cómo se llama? Yo me llamo Reinilda, me llaman Cuchipla. Cuchipla. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sí, sí, sí. <laughs> ¿Cuántos años tiene Cuchipla? 70. 70. Hey. Felicidades. Muchas gracias. This is my last video from Colombia, so it's time to thank you for subscribing to the channel and for liking the videos. As a reminder, for more info on the videos, follow me on Instagram. And uh, for links to my accommodations and other interesting things, you can always check out the comments section below. Uh, Colombia has been fantastic. Tomorrow, I leave for my next destination, Peru. Please join me. And until then, ciao and peace.